Hey Gemini, can you help me welcome viewers to my YouTube video that I'm recording right now by explaining who you are and what you can do? Okay, here's a quick welcome script you can use. Hey everyone, Gemini here. I'm a large language model created by Google AI. Think of me as your super smart assistant that can craft creative text formats, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. Basically, I can help with just about anything. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn something new and interesting. Everybody meet Gemini Live. In a nutshell, Gemini is Google's new AI-powered assistant. Gemini is meant to be easier to interact with and more intuitive than previous assistants. In this video, I'm going to show you a bit about how to use it, what it can do, and how it works, plus what it's going to cost you to get this kind of AI power right on your phone. Similar to the way you interact with the Google Assistant now, you can just open the new Gemini app, which is available on all new Google Pixel phones, as well as other Android phones, and then just talk, type, or upload a photo to interact for short, simple queries. Taking things one step further, though, you can use Gemini Live, which is a new, more long-form conversational way to interact with Gemini, Gemini. in a back-and-forth chat. Invoking Gemini hey Live opens a different interface that really That's leans in into the live feeling. Just hanging out in the digital world. Here's what you need to know about getting set up to interact with Gemini, and then we'll dig into a little bit about what it's going to do for you. Gemini is on all Android phones now, but using Gemini Live needs you to have a Google One plan with AI Premium enabled. This subscription costs about $26.99 Canadian per month. As of today, the plan comes with some additional features and benefits too, including two terabytes of storage for photos, Gmail, and more. Now, if you want to check which level of subscription you have, there are a couple of ways to do it. I found that when I opened the Gemini app, it just said Gemini Advanced right at the top of the screen. To be sure, you can tap on your profile photo icon in the top right corner and then choose Settings, and then look for Manage Advanced Subscription. So to use Gemini, just open up the app and input your question or request. It works a lot like Google search. All of your Gemini queries and questions, by the way, can be saved inside the Gemini app for you to look at again. To use Gemini Live, you'll open the Gemini app and look for the icon in the bottom right corner of the phone. It looks like three vertical lines with a small star. Let's give it a try. Hey Gemini, what would you say is your best feature? My best feature is my versatility. I can help with a ton of things, from writing different kinds of creative text to answering questions on a bunch of topics. I'm always learning new things, so my skills just keep getting better. Gemini, let's brainstorm some ideas for my next tech and gadget reviews. Sounds like a plan. Do you have any specific gadgets in mind, or do you want to explore some new product categories? I think I'd like to explore some new product categories. All right, let's brainstorm. How about stuff for smart homes? Maybe a new robot vacuum or a cool security system. Or we could look at some of the new virtual reality headsets that are coming out. There's also always drones. There's a ton of new drones with awesome features coming out all the time. So what do you think? Any of those sound interesting? Sounds good, but now I'm thinking about dinner. Do you have any recipe ideas for me that I can make with turkey and vegetables that I have in my fridge? Well, there's a few things you could do with those leftovers. You could make some turkey sandwiches, or maybe even a turkey and vegetable soup. If you're feeling something a little fancier, you could try making turkey pot pie. What sounds good to you? All of those, but let's try something else. Gemini, what are some other ways we can use your smarts? Okay, I can help with lots of things. How about writing different kinds of creative text, like poems, scripts, or even code? Or if you need help summarizing a long article, or want me to explain something complicated in an easy way, I can do that too. So what do you need help with? Thanks, Gemini. I think I'm good for now. Your Gemini conversations can be saved by the app, so you can actually go back and reference the whole conversation again later. You can change Gemini's voice and personality, and I say personality because it doesn't just change the voice or the accent, it actually changes the entire way the assistant speaks. In my earliest days of pre-public release testing here on this phone, I didn't have access to anything but the default voice, but I did get to experience them while I was at Google HQ in California, so take a listen. Voice is tricky, but hopefully it's also fun. Here's hoping I'm your voice of choice. 
Maybe I'm the voice that's right for you, but there are quite a few to choose from. I'm another voice in the mix. I'll be here whenever you're ready to talk. Hey Gemini, can you help me brainstorm some ideas for new social media posts about upcoming gadgets and technology releases? Talking to Gemini Live is surprisingly natural and easy, and I found myself using it a lot. It's really great for coming up with ideas, for helping me create notes, summarize websites, or even writing short articles. Or something else. Let me know which platforms you're interested in. I also tried asking if it could help me do things like format a list of email addresses into a CSV file, but the assistant told me that Gemini wasn't able to interact with things like notes and documents just yet. Those features, or extensions as Google is calling them, are supposed to roll out in the coming weeks. Gemini and Gemini Live is some pretty cool technology. Gemini Live is already available to Gemini Advanced subscribers globally in English using the Gemini app on Android devices. In the coming weeks, Google is going to be expanding that availability to iOS users through the Google app. I'd love to hear, though, what you think about Gemini and Gemini Live and what you'd use it for in your day-to-day -day life. Share your thoughts with me in the comments. And if you want to learn a little more about one of the new Google Pixel 9 smartphones, be sure to check out my full review or see some of the other Google technology I've had a chance to try hands-on right now.